Yes guys, welcome back to Hair System DIY. Apologies for the hair if it appears quite messy on camera. I've been outside all day with my hat on, enjoying the sunshine. It's so nice in the UK right now, but when you wear a hat, it can look a little bit messy when you take it off. And me being me, being a bit lazy today, I haven't bothered combing it back into place. I'm trying to work on my perfectionism pattern, guys. Anyway, today we're gonna to be talking about how realistically long you can expect to get out of a hair system. I'm gonna to be touching on a few really important points which will help you decipher what your expectations will be. Now, before we delve into this really interesting video, if you haven't liked and subscribed yet, please do join this ever-growing tribe. It will help more people find the channel and importantly, the more people that find this channel, the more people can get free advice about hair systems and take the plunge to getting their hair back. Alrighty then, let's get into this. So there's a couple of things that are really important to consider when you're laying out your expectations of what you want to get out of your hair system in terms of duration. So the first thing is, what base is it? And the second thing is, which pretty inter intertwined with the first thing is how thick is the base. So the general rule of thumb here is the thicker the base, the longer the hair system is likely to last. The thinner the base, the more fragile it is, the less likely it's gonna last longer. Are they comfier? Yes. Thinner bases are 100% comfier, but it's kind of like you're paying the price to have the comfort, you're sacrificing the duration. I'd kind of argue the same other way. If you want longer duration, the actual hair system itself isn't quite as comfortable. So it's a real balancing act. I'd say that, you know, thicker poly bases, so polyurethane bases, the thicker ones do tend to last quite long. The problem is, if you get to sort of like six, seven months, you do tend to find, even with the thicker ones, the hair does start shedding. They're basically injected into the polyurethane base, and after a while, they just come loose. Thinner polys, on the other hand, so ultra thin skins, they are the thinnest base possible. And because they're so thin, there's not really much room to actually inject hair into the base. So number one, they're not as well secured to the base itself. And number two, they can't hold the density of a thicker poly base because effectively the base itself with the ultra thin skins are so fragile they just cannot hold that much hair it's almost like it just collapses in on itself and i remember years ago i got an ultra thin skin which was something like 110 115 percent that's quite thick guys especially for an ultra thin skin and it was it was useless it was useless there was hair falling out left right and center because the base was too fragile to carry that much hair to an extent you can argue the same with the thinner lace bases they're not able to hold as much hair however they are more comfortable so let's get to the nitty-gritty and actually talk about durations when it comes to these bases ultra thin skins don't expect to get more than two months. If you get more than two months out of an ultra thin skin, you're doing great work. And I'll explain how you can do great work later in this video. So do stick around for that. With the thicker polys, so 0.06 millimeters and anything thicker than that, you can expect to get four to six to seven months out of it. That's been my personal experience and I've been wearing systems for six years now. So my experience, that's what you can expect from the differing bases or the differing thicknesses of the poly bases. Now let's talk about lace. There's pretty much two main different types of lace. There are, there are other types of lace that you can wear, but they're kind of hard to come by. I'm talking about German lace, I'm talking about Australian lace. It's very unusual to find these particular bases online or anywhere really. So let's focus on the two most widely available lace bases. So you've got the Swiss, that's the really thin one, and then you've got French, which is more robust, but it's still super comfortable. I'd actually say the French lace is easily, easily, in my top three bases of all time. Now with a Swiss lace, it is more robust than an ultra thin skin. So when I got my first Swiss lace, yep, when I got my first Swiss lace, it lasted about three to four months, which isn't bad. I mean, some people advertise that it lasts a month and I personally, in my personal experience, I disagree with that. I've had multiple Swiss laces and they always last at least two to three months. So yes, they last longer than ultra thin skins in my experience. With a French lace, you can get four to six months. With the added bonus of the density can be thicker. Pretty much with a Swiss lace, you can get an 80 or 90%. It's not that thick. 
with a French, and by the way, when that starts shedding, you know it. Whereas with a French, it can be thicker, it can go up to about 105%, it holds the hair better, and it's better for guys like myself and like many of you who are in their 20s, their 30s, their 40s, with a thicker amount of hair naturally than someone in their 50s or their 60s. And to add to that, in my experience, French and Swiss lace are very, very similar in comfort, which is why I prefer the French, because it lasts longer, it can hold more hair, it holds onto hair longer, and it's pretty much the same comfort as a Swiss. Now with a silk base, I'm not really gonna talk about monofilament. If, if anyone wants to know about monofilament, let me know in the comments box below and I can make a video on it. But there's so few people these days that wear mono that it's not really worth talking about. However, an increasing number of people are wearing silk bases. And the system that I'm wearing right now, don't forget the 15% discount, it's gonna pop up on the screen right now. This particular system is a silk base. It's five to six, I think it's almost six months old now, and it's still going strong. The expectation is to try and get a year out of this, and I'm documenting this journey. So silks do last longer, they're also pretty comfortable. Yes, they're a little bit more money, but what you spend on the system, you save in duration. So it might be worth considering if you're on a slightly tighter budget. So in summary, what you can expect to get from an ultra thin skin is probably one to two to three months if you're really careful with it. You should definitely be getting over one month. For the slightly thicker polys, expect to get anywhere between three to six months. With the lace bases, I'd say with a Swiss lace, expect to get two to three months and then with a French lace, expect to get four to six months. And with Swiss lace, you can expect to get anywhere between eight to 12 months, case in point. So there you have it, guys. If there are any other bases you want to know about in terms of expected duration, let me know in the comments box below. I'll endeavor to do a video on that as well. But one last little bonus for anyone sticking around to the end is this, you can always elongate the duration and the lifespan of a hair system if you take good care of it. Do rag at night, silk pillow, argan oil, keep it out of the sun. Those are the four key routes to success with extending the lifespan of your hair system. Now for anyone who's new on their journey with hair systems and they don't really know what to do in terms of maintenance, I've got a video popping up on my screen right now which literally goes through step by step how to remove a system and how to reapply it. It's getting a lot of views at the moment, so a lot of people are finding it quite helpful. So head over to that video now if you need a couple of pointers with maintenance. Thank you so much for stopping by guys and I'll speak to you ever so soon. Bye for now.